My name is T.O. Hester. I live in Alcoa, Tennessee, but I was in North, my home was in North Alabama when I went into the service. I had just completed my sophomore year of college and I was, had joined the Enlisted Reserve Corps, but they called up the Enlisted Reserve Corps and I had my was active duty and I had my basic training at Camp Robinson, Arkansas. At the conclusion of the Camp Rocket basic training in Camp Robinson, I took an examination. To, if your IQ was a certain rate, you could take an examination, and if you passed it, you could be entered in ASTP. I was accepted in ASTP and attended ASTP at Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, for two, two quarters, and the, the war got to the point they called shut down the ASTP and put us into active duty. I was then joined the 84th Infantry Division at Camp Claiborne uh, in the spring of 44, and they were preparing, I believe, from all that from it appeared that they were preparing to go into combat, which they were, and was shipped over the 84th Division in the fall of uh, 44. I was with the G Company of the 333rd Infantry, I was uh, in the mortar section of the G Company, uh, and uh, we went into combat in uh, the northern Germany in the Siegfried Line in uh, this uh, November. Mm -hmm. so, I believe November, I said something like that. Did you did you go through the whole war? Yes. I was with uh, them and we, we were in service in the northern Germ Germany and that's where we were when the Battle of the Bulls broke out down in Belgium and they moved our entire division down into Belgium and we was uh, in the Battle of the Bulls. I was uh, wounded in the Battle of the Bulls on uh, January the 13th and of course uh, that meant that I go to the hospital and I finally ended up in the hospital in France. We had just taken the, uh, our company had taken the town of Le Thai and we captured, uh, we captured about 140 prisoners. I was in the platoon, I mean in the mortar section and my mortar, the section leader of the mortar was section was he he was killed in uh, as we went into the tie and that was on the 12th of January and on the next day then as we shoved back off and then oh, the, <laughs> the combat was sick I've been to the forest there and the snow was pretty deep and it was cold as a mischief and uh, uh, I, 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 I was wounded in the there and then, and then they had to haul me out of there on a half track. I couldn't, couldn't get in there with the, anything else. Some of the soldiers even had to be, uh, had a horse sled pulling them out, but I, I was called out to the half track and then they went to Paris after the shrapnel was removed, and uh, I recovered to the point that I to go back into service, I rejoined the 84th uh, just after they had crossed the river and started uh, on the uh, way toward uh, uh, the uh, Elbe River to meet the Germans. And we were out all the way, went all the way to the Elbe River and, uh, and the Germans surrendered uh, and Did made you? the 8th or thereabouts. <laughs> So uh, that's that's where I was when the when the war ended, and I stayed with the men and through the occupation thing, and, and uh, then was able to go home later. I got my discharge. Uh, I, well, I actually got home the last day of the '45.